potential to do the unimaginable. This project is based on a problem that we face almost every day, the water crisis. Hey Midhans, did you know that a lot of water is wasted through open taps and leaking pipes? Also, this sums up to 100 gallons of water a day per household. Oh no! How can we reduce the amount of water that gets wasted? Well, this is where our project comes in. We have built a smart bathroom as a bathroom is the only place wherein a lot of water is wasted. Let's go over to the project now. This is the circuitry area. It includes all the things such as the Arduino and the LCD. Now we move on to the smart sink faucet nozzle. Washing hands takes about 25.2 liters, whereas brushing teeth takes about 5.6 liters. Here we have the time bath. This is a water conserving bath. We have set up a timer. This is used to tell the user that they have reached their maximum time limit and the flow of water is gonna stop shortly after the buzzer starts buzzing. Here we have the pipeline monitoring system. This includes a water flow sensor that detects the rate of flow in liters per hour and displays it on the LCD screen. If the flow rate is below 30 liters per hour, then that must be a leak and one should call a plumber. Here is a sedimentary tank. Water from the bathtub goes into this tank. It works on the process of sedimentation in the form of layers of sand, activated carbon and pebbles to filter the dirty water. This also includes a Buckner's funnel. Here we have the vacuum toilet. We have created a vacuum toilet as a normal toilet's average use of water per flush is nearly 8 gallons. So if you compare it to a normal toilet, it saves 8 gallons per flush. This is a person counter. It counts the amount of people that have entered and exited the bathroom. This also shows an alert to clean the bathroom when 5 people have exited the bathroom. This is beneficial for some places like remote areas where the bathroom isn't used much so that the housekeeping doesn't need to be called every day to clean the bathroom which hasn't been used a lot. And finally, here's the garden. All the water from the sedimentation tank flows into the garden to grow the crops.